What were we doing, Stephanie? <laughs> uh, I think that's... Oh, then it... Oh, yeah, we got our friend here. Buddy. Time, oop. Hug. Uh, fuck, I forgot his voice already. Well, it was you, right? Yeah, it was yeah. me. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Commander, my short rest has already been taken. I just been, I just been like a goober. D&D &D references. D and D references. Let's we'll see what Stephanie was cooking last time. Yeah, it's a gift from the past. It's uh. I made that. What is that? I don't know. Do you have raspberries? <laughs> I don't know what that it's is in in real life. Yeah, I've never seen that word before. I think it's the first thing that's come up that I haven't actually known what it was. Yeah. what it was. It looked like it was full of raspberries. There it is. A best breakfast to stay in in shape or pretend to. A berry it's and yogurt. Berries and yogurt. It's, it's there's a name for that. Bowl. It's not just berries and yogurt. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a name for this. And I got I got stuff going on I've in there. I've been having I'm, yogurt for breakfast lately. I'm a very busy cat. Oops. I don't like yogurt that much, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. <laughs> like I did it. I had a I did I had an adult breakfast. I suppose. Pose. I mean, I think the only breakfast that aren't like adult breakfasts is, I guess, cereal Captain, and like a Mickey Mouse yeah. pancake or something. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. All berries. <laughs> <laughs> the most childish cereal in the world. You know, one of those things it's I was the indulgent cereal. I think is really interesting is seeing different countries definition of breakfast because there just seems to be like a basic standard for breakfast in every country yeah and not the same for lunch or dinner you yeah. know it's like everyone just kind of has like a like a picturesque idea of their breakfast and like america's maybe something like bacon and eggs you know something like that and i found that i, I guess we get chickens by just feeding it you just put well, seed in, and then you, chickens just generate you know in <laughs> like you don't get in, a chicken in real life Keith, you do just feed chickens and then yeah, but there's get no chickens. chickens in there. You just feed the coop and then chickens appear. Wait, <laughs> from where? I don't know. Also, what stresses me out a little bit is that we're at the seal. Yeah. So I had a plan. <laughs> it was to. I don't know what it is. I don't know if we're coming from or going to the seal, but we're at the seal right now. I presumably wanted to go somewhere. Um, so that's nice. <laughs> it's fun trying to figure out past Keith's yeah. ideas. We need silk fabric, which is, we're just generating that slowly with that one tree. Mm -hmm. And then we need a crystal glass sheet in order to make the ship, the mist cleaner. And then we can get past the next barrier, which might be the last one. I think, I think it is. Buy the blueprint in Buck's room at Edgeboro Lane. We can do that for Buck. If we can find Edgeboro Lane. Edgeboro sound is that the new area or the first area? There, there we is. go. That's easy we'll enough. We'll go here. We'll go find that blueprint. Yeah, there fuck, we go. fuck you, goal. Sea Lion. We, gonna, we aren't we aren't taking your bus at all. What it takes to get crystal glass sheets, and then I'll try to figure out how to go pursue making. Well, those. it was a silica. Wait, crystal glass sheets. There's like two similar sounding products, so it makes it harder. Where is that building? <laughs> I think it's the actual name of this game. Where is the building? Um, is it this one? Yes, okay. I was like, <laughs> it's crystal glass sheet, so we need silica powder. I have enough zinc ingots for all of them. Yeah, I thought it was silica. Wait, was it clear glass? It was crystal glass, right? I just said crystal glass? Yes. Yeah, yeah we need silica powder. We need silica, which you get from quartz. So we need quartz. And how much crushy crush do we have left? Got my spine, I've got my crushy crush. What the fuck does that song mean? <laughs> my orange crush. I got my spine. Just, I got my. Did. I've got my spine. I've got my orange crush. I always yeah. thought it was creepy. Well, he, he's just a real gamer. He's happy. He likes his his, his sugary drinks. I think that kind of he pre likes to drink his orange crush. <laughs> I feel like that kind of predated that concept, but sure. You don't know that. Also, you don't have gamers have been uh, gamers are eternal. <laughs> I've got my Doritos. I've got my Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Orange Crush. I mean, I can't think of Orange Crush being anything else. Probably Agent Orange. 
I, I don't. <laughs> Maybe. The only other orange that comes to mind. It's way darker. I'd like to think it was Orange Crush. I'm I'm just really happy to have his orange crush. Monster energy drinks for <laughs> double got my XP. Monster, I've got my orange crush. Do you remember when they used to have like Call of Duty double XP codes on the cans of I think monsters? They still do. do they really? Uh, yeah, or maybe Fortnite now. Does Call of Duty still exist? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I know it does. Yeah, no, but it's, why? It got Every now and then I see a video about it. I'm like, wow. <gasps> uh, he scared me. He's the jump scare bird. I forgot him. Uh, I Every now and then I see a, a, a video of it out of context, and then I'll be like, wow. Popular, like, expensive video games got really detailed when I wasn't looking. Because <laughs> I play, like, two AAA games per year, basically. I just remember... So as a result, I'm really caught off guard by their graphics whenever I see them. I just remember, like, Soap. Like, the character... I don't know, I, I'm... Like, like this, that's the era of me being aware of Call of yeah. Duty, is, like, the soap days. As, like, an industry, they're just, by a, as a rule, just so boring by comparison that I don't want to play them. Soap and ghosts. Not even, like, Call of Duty specifically, but most of the AAA industry is just, like... Yeah, I played this game already. Thanks, I guess. I'll, uh... I'll check back in in five years when you make a second type of game. Like I said... I just like playing Call of Duty Zombies, and then they ruined it by making it too complicated. <laughs> I don't got time to like keep George Romero away, and also keep George Romero away. He's coming for you. No, this happens in the game in real life. <laughs> Evil George Romero. Yeah, Keith. I'm not even. I'm not even that lying about that. That's real. Six, he six, he four. is himself in it. Can I make more than one of these? This must be an end game mechanic because it's a pain. <laughs> You can't mass produce anything in this place. You have to make every individual one. So enjoy tending sheep and plants. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm so far away from you, but you're yeah. doing something that requires no close-up skills, yeah? No, I just look at her hammer and try not to make it turn red. <laughs> you, you, you just you just kind of get a feel for, with each material for how fast you're supposed to hammer, because you can hold down the hammer as long as you want, and that makes you str swing fat stronger. But if you swing too strong, the hammer turns red and explodes. And well, so you have to keep hammering hard enough that you're making progress, but not hard enough that it breaks the hammer. And every material has a different, like, like oh, you just do a bunch of light hits, or oh, you'd hold out a really big strong one or something. But no, it's a, it's just a process. Blacksmiths have that problem where their hammers just explode sometimes. It's yeah. really dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's why they wear glasses. <laughs> the only reason. <laughs> We saw, what's it called, uh, Quiet Place Part 2 yesterday. We did. What is this fucker going to want to eat? A, what a pointless sequel. Yeah. I, I, like, I went into it being like, I don't understand how this movie is a sequel. And then I left being like, I'm confused why this movie had a sequel. Okay, I knew it. I had a feeling about the garlic bread, man. Remember I'm... Uh, is his like, favorite movie, movie uh, food garlic bread? Remember I... Did, favorite movie didn't I even make bread? that joke? Didn't I even, didn't I even make the Scott Pilgrim joke already? We ended an episode where the bread makes you fat, but I don't yeah. know the whole context. I think that was... Because garlic bread is the context for that joke. Yeah. Yes. I, I did it, guys. Yeah. Now I can kill him and be happy. <laughs> oh no, you my sheep! You don't always need that closure. You sure never needed to find the favorite, the favorite uh, food of the ex-military serial cheater. Well, I really did want to know it. I'm sure it was something that cheaters like. <laughs> that type. <laughs> that, 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 that type of thing. That's one of the categories of food. I like the part where I have to wait for it to cook, <laughs> and then I silly hammer it. Right, where are we? Like when I trade one more a sheep one shit. Uh, cherries for its outer coating. <laughs> I will bribe you with these cherries if you give me your flesh. <laughs> mm, I'll think about it. Mm. <laughs> you're, you're, a ooh, ooh, my friend. you're a living jacket. <laughs> Look at him fly. Um, He'll you... be a pain to keep up with sometimes. <laughs> we, have, uh, we now have flying people, which will just fucking leave. <laughs> and then you're like, well, I gotta figure out where he's gonna land and go all the way there. I can't catch him along the way. Because he doesn't have to walk. <laughs> I noticed Milk that the, the, oh yeah, the larger this. the ship got, the more they, they started introducing flying units. Or characters. Milk and clam was clam There's chowder. Like line. Yogurt with an H, how dare you. Yogurt. What if I'm milk and rice? It's, oh, rice pudding. It's gonna make rice pudding. That I think. Sense. I have to predict the meals. 
I mean, half the time you're trying to make something that you know exists and be like, I bet I can do that. All right, we have every single ingredient except we need a lot of silk fabric. Like a lot. Um, we need 22 and we have five. And then we can make the mist clearer. Oh, it's doing the, the glitchy thing again. The game will be back in just a moment, but maybe it crashed. Damn it. Why is this happening? It hasn't happened for like days now, too. God damn it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and you just hammered all that stuff, too. I bet it's all undone. Yeah. I bet I just lost all that progress. <laughs> When you when this happens, it happens sometimes in Yakuza, and the game just recovers. And in fact, in the recording, it looks like nothing ever happened. But when it happens, I need to find out what this bug is. I don't know what it is. It's so stressful. Fuck! It's the previous night. We just lost literally the last ten minutes of progress. I swear to God. Ah, <laughs> uh, podcast of topics. What do you want to talk about, Stephanie? We <laughs> well. <laughs> I swear to God. Wow, I wonder what his favorite food is, Stephanie. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who could it be? Let's just what? try. Dude, like, I really did. I really did. Like, I was like, okay, so this Italian guy is going to like garlic bread. I'm glad I was right about it. Because he can't eat any, any of the classic Italian shellfish meals because he's allergic. I need to find out what the, I don't know what that bug is. Oops. It reminds me of the fucking like super eye patch wolf video that came out where it's just like it's, something's wrong and you don't know what the fuck's wrong and it's this big anxious thing and like there's a unique stress that comes from your job being tied to that thing because it's like you need it to do your shit and everything and I don't know what causes it. I just got through a three hour recording session of Yakuza yesterday where it didn't happen a single time so I'm just all the more confused as a result. But it happened last session with this game too. But it always happens once per session total. It's never happened a second time in the same session. Making it even weirder. <laughs> like I'm like, why does it happen once? As if to just check if I'm paying attention. <laughs> it's what, like what are computers? Gotcha. I'm so confused. I uh it's just here to bully me. Technology scares the fuck out of me, yeah. man. I'm I I obviously like ev probably most everybody have a job that is at least in some ways like reliant on technology but my technology does not belong to me and if it fucks up i'm like well tough titty guess like i don't have to fucking do shit now because somebody else is gonna have to fix this although my, my uh as a managerial person i do have to like call help centers yeah. all the time and that's annoying and it's just like much like the super eye patch wolf video like the list of possible things that could be the solution or could be the problem is so wide that it basically feels like you can just admit you don't know when well, people suggest solutions. Here, here's like you can just admit you have no idea and are just suggesting that it could literally be anything in the entire computer from hardware to software and every aspect. Well, here's an example, I guess. We're like, where I my workplace includes a cash register, and one of our cash registers has literally been broken on and off for at least two years. Like, every other day. But our cheap-ass company won't just fucking replace it. So, we've sent in so many tickets for help that finally we got to the point where we have one ticket open with, like, a with a, a help center. Yeah. But, we, but every time they say that it's fixed, they try to, like, close the ticket. And we're like, nope, nope, you can't close it. Because it happened again. And so we've been holding the same ticket open for over, like, since last September. So almost a whole year now. <laughs> and it's at the point now where when I call Solution Center, I say, I'm not going to explain what is happening to the register to you. I want you to look at the notes for our store. And the guy who I last talked to took 10 minutes to read the notes and said, oh, God, when he read just, them. Because they just keep going and going he and said, going because you filed so many and no one's doing anything about it. He put me on hold and he came back five minutes later and he's like, I'm only I'm only until like the first of this month. Give me a couple more minutes. And I was like, OK, cool. And he did, and he just was like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, yeah, I told you guys, you're not going to be able to fix it. I don't... Please just give us a new fucking register. Yeah. The amount of money we've spent on the, these repairs probably is, is equivalent. It sounds, like, it sounds a lot like the McDonald's uh, ice cream machine problem. Well, is that... Oh, they're like stuck with a really specific company that has... And the thing just defaults oh, yeah, to like an free. error like really quickly and completely locks itself down. And it's basically like a for-profit, like, it's it being broken makes them more money, essentially. 
but all these fr franchisees are just suffering constantly because they can't have a working thing in their pl in their place at all. Yeah, it is hard when you have like a um, you have a like a deal with like a specific um, with like a specific company. Like they are your uh, what's it called? Like they are your specific vendor for X, Y, or Z. And if they really suck and they just fuck you, you over, you can't do that. anything. Yeah. I put some seed in here. Uh, we'll just have to see if it's like the right seed or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of whatever the cheapest seed is that I can buy somewhere. Because that's the problem with feeding the chickens, is it's something we have to like, get. Yeah, that was something we discovered last time, because we don't have enough seeds to go around. A little bit of garlic bread. I knew he was gonna fucking like garlic bread, man. Let me get reacquainted with my favorite food. Don't mind if I do. Oh, did he just... Oh, yeah. No, he, he, he feeds him. I thought he was eating out of his mouth for a second. Gross. It is a bird. Well, they, they do that. They clean their teeth. Mickey loves it. This is exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this. But he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. He's the guy from the South Shore. He has expensive tastes. He has this awful mansion. He would boast around town about his house. Mickey hated him. Listen, you've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Take you out and relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. I'm amused by the idea that Mickey has this like complex in her life, but it's told to us entirely from a via a different character. This he, he just sits there and makes no expressions ever. I was hungry as usual. I did something about it. For once, I fed myself. <laughs> I went outside the boat and gathered some berries. Blah 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 blah. Take these berries. You have a million. Have a I'm, berry day. I'm useless because you have a bazillion oh, already. Hey, that's, that's eight more f sheep feedings. Yeah, I have like a million. I'll never get through them all. We'll finish the game before I get through how many I have now. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's this place called Graymus Peaks. It shouldn't be far from here. Mickey thinks you're well. We both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, we've been asking a lot from you. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your efforts. Some recognition for your discretion in affairs. <laughs> We've never actually been camping, but we would do this as a gift for you. Let's go take a look at some rocks and trees and shit. <laughs> Why does he assume that that's what we want to do? What if I'm like... I, actually, I like... We've done everything else that, we told, that he's told us to do I, so I like to go to museums. Like <laughs> I like museums. And buttered toast. I always uh, tell people. Oh, brain! Wow. What? Sorry, I just remembered out of Nettie. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought like, about I, that. For see, and then ever. I thought of Jimmy Neutron because they're gonna say brain blast, and I was gonna. Say, so we both went on some weird retro brain trip just then. Buck's lair of wonder. Buttered toast. Buttered toast. My my parents said I'm grounded, so they took my stairs. <laughs> that, that's so fucked that's up. The scariest fucking scene. He's in a fucking basement, and the stairs are gone. Dude, <laughs> that show, I thought was like in ways kind of existentially terrifying, <laughs> because it was my favorite show growing up. The best thing is the movie where they leave the cul-de-sac for like the first time in the show, almost I think, or something. They actually leave, which is amazing. And there's no adults anywhere. It's just like a It's boy. the creepiest fucking thing yeah. in the world. Yes. <laughs> I can feel its venerable magic flowing through my nostrils. Its perfume per possesses the distinct aromas of lilac and elderberries. Look at it. Cryptic runes. Silvery ornaments. It's just references. It's all characters' references. Oh, wait. Elderberries. Your, 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 oh, shit. your smell no. of elderberries. Yennefer smells of lilac and gooseberries in The Witcher. I was slightly off. You. But he your said, grandfather is a hamster. <laughs> and your mother smells of elderberries. elderberries. Yeah. Without the shadow of a doubt, the scroll's written in the ancient language of Nagadan. Make a knowledge roll. <laughs> 18! Fantastic! That's Your success indicates that you can read the Nagadian proficiently. Commander, let yourself be guided by its enchanted instructions. Once the house is built, I can finally read the rest of the scenario. I'm sorry, look at the top of the screen. Look at him. Is, what, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> He's making sushi, I think. But look at him do it. The chocolate. Oh my gosh, he is making sushi. I've never seen him do that before. <laughs> 
I wasn't ready for any of that. What is that building? He just have a sushi stand now? Where is he doing that? What is that building? He just has a sushi stand now. Yeah, that's not even tied to a place, is it? He no. just set that up all of a sudden. Fucking weird. <laughs> I keep forgetting about him. Once the house is built, you can read the rest of the snare. Oh, he's doing a fucking D&D module. Yeah. Like the pre-written story. Once the lair is erected, I will rest at last. And I will have the power to pierce through the ethereal veil and communicate with the elemental powers. My humble fate lies in your hands, Commander. I love the fact that he was introduced as a religious zealot, but then we realized that his yeah, Bible dude, is I like D &D him module. so much more now. <laughs> he's trying to live a D and D module, base. Like when you when you want to hug him, he's like, "Sorry, I've already had my short rest." And it's because in D and D, a long rest is when you rest for like eight hours and you get all of your stats back. But you can, if you uh, you have like a hit die where you could uh, get you <laughs> restore like sushi. you can restore like some health. Talk and, to him. In order to get that health, health back, you have to take like a short rest. And it's like once per day. And it's like it's so specific. It's like that's that's what he's calling hugs. <laughs> he just he's running away fuck. from you, you fuck. dude. I will hunt you down. He just yelled, I made sushi and then ran away. Yeah. I made a delicacy. Have some sushi. Feed it to the others. They'll love it. Yeah, I think that's also an you acquired just taste. Started. What? Sushi's great. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. I bet you. I never gonna... had to learn to love sushi. I bet you in, in our little menu it's going to be an acquired taste. It should be exotic. Oh, good. Let's not make this a habit. I will hug you every day. You Bitch. can't stop me. <laughs> oh, dish type. Incredible. Wow. What? It literally says everyone likes sushi. <laughs> it just so says it, incredible. It's a meal that no one else will no one will dislike, I guess. You just required to like sushi. That's funny. I mean, kinda. Corn dog? <laughs> we can get this much money if um, we got noodle soup, corn dog, and apple pie. Oh, noodle soup. Corn bread. These are ideas for you to, to look at. Egg salad. Egg salad. Egg side up. Yummy, yummy. Was that just eggs? Yeah, I'm sure it's just you kicked them. Crepes. Crepes. Clips. Clips. <laughs> I took a French in high school. <laughs> XP. The only thing I gained was the ability to make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> Fire glow. I just like the part where he gives me money sometimes. Speaking of. I like when that happens to me too, although it doesn't <laughs> usually. <laughs> Let's see here. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Ooh, wait. Olive oil. We need to oil for something. Oh my gosh, Keith. We fucking forgot about the fucking fried chicken. I didn't forget. I've, I've been busy. You, oh my gosh. You, I'm gonna do that. You do the cook, Fuck. Cook. How do I. Where is our wait. Where is friend? Zoom in, on, zoom in on our friend. I'm gonna hug him. He's finally in the open. <laughs> Yeah, he oh, he's cute. Look at his little clawed feet things. <laughs> I was in dire need of a spirit heal. My mana was low. <laughs> he's so cute. All right, you do things. Which, 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 gotta... But you're. I need the thing for that. The smashy thing. The, I'm not. You're doing the smashy. Thing. Oh, and that's not the smashy thing. No. This oh is goodness. The, this is the blacksmith place. That's the smashy thing. I need a smash. One that looks weird, thing. like a like a log being saw in half, but it's actually a smashy see thing. I'm it's a hydraulic before press, I do this. But like an aggressive one. <laughs> It's a hydraulic smashy smash. Yes, hallelujah. Okay. Olive oil. We're gonna give this a shot. I've never heard of people making fried chicken with olive oil. I think <laughs> it's usually canola oil. But I don't Sometimes you just or, gotta or like, run with it. Like oil that's not as healthy, I think. I don't know. I don't never had fried chicken before in my whole life. Wow. Have you had fried impossible? I've had chicken? I have had chicken nuggets though, because I was a child once. Yeah. I don't think I don't count those as being the same. I think most people don't, right? Aren't are, I aren't, think chicken nuggets are breaded, not fried? Like like uh But I don't know. I've never fried anything because it sounds like a wasteful amount of oil. It, it is. So it stresses me out a little bit. We, uh, my family just had fun one one time, and like we had a party, we, and we just fried stuff in like a, in a fryer my dad had yeah. gotten, and it was disgusting. <laughs> Cleaning it out afterward is, is a pain, and it's a uh, you put like Oreos and put Twinkies and stuff in there. Yeah, I saw I saw John uh, frying some stuff, and I'm just like. That's just so much. That's like an entire thing full of oil. So the, the amount of oil we had was like a I'm vat. I'm so confused. Like a vat. Like a vat. Yeah. <laughs> it's an increment of measurement. 
like a pallet of cake. What is my point of comparison for vat? I just have a vat thought, and I can't think of what it is. Head over to Gramest Peaks. It's just at least at Two least it, people need fried chicken. It's funny. At least a gallon of oil. Find the woodworker hanging out around Ambertown Park. Then I need more chicken because I don't have enough chicken. I only have one chicken. Ooh, I can make pork. Uh, I can fry a Sandwich bunch of stuff. Walk. That's that one with all the weird advertisements. Yeah. Back to where we just were. Do you ever like? I mean, you don't really take naps, but every once in no. a while, I take naps a nap. Naps ruin my day. Yeah, well, they ruin my day too. But sometimes it just happens, and then I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, am I dying? Like, why did my body do this to me? I didn't want this. What What I've noticed is that I'm so busy all the time, and I always have a thing that I can be working on or putting my time into, or just like media that I can consume, or like there's just always a thing I can do every second of my waking hours. That like what happens is the moment I'm like visiting family or something, and my and I'm and the thing I'm supposed to do at the moment is basically just sit on a couch and like wait for stuff to happen and make small talk and sit around at somebody else's like custody <laughs> or like whim or whatever. I start passing out so quickly because <laughs> I'm so at, uh, I'm so not used to the idea of not having anything to do. That my I just like suddenly start falling asleep like immediately See, in the middle of the day. My problem is that my room just consists of a like it's just a large bed. Like I just use that as I sit on. Yeah, that. your entire room's a bed. Then you sit there to like read and watch watch stuff and everything. Yeah, so it's like very easy to just lean a certain way and then you're asleep. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Like today. <laughs> yeah. It's like let me know when you're ready. I'm like yeah, ready when you are. Should I knock? <laughs> I just, you I felt the chicken, but it's too dark. Oh, fuck. Suspense. I want a toll off my fucking boat. This will be like the end of him, I won't started, it? I started talking to Kiki through the door. You said that, and I didn't, I just woken up. I was like, what the fuck is Keith talking about? Yeah. Like, I was talking to Kiki, and I'm like, my door was shut, Keith. What the fuck? Yeah, but I was just like teasing her through the door because she was reacting to me. You know, that explains why she ran up. She did wake me up, actually. So she <laughs> helped you because she actually like went up and she like. <laughs> I open my eyes and I see her bright little peppy face on the side Fine. of my bed. I just want to Shit. punch it. She's wagging her tail as I talk about it. She's hearing her name a lot right now. Including me pretending to talk to her, which just sounds like talking to her. Kiki, I would punch you to voice. Just kidding, I would never do that. I love you. But maybe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't like that. It's a weird sound. If you don't like that sound, wait till you hear the sound of me eating stuff in Subnautica too quickly. Just like rapid fire throat noises. You wouldn't. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I hate it's that. Like, oh god. So I'll have like a meter to fill up and I'm gonna like work through I gotta like eat like six berries or whatever the fuck random thing I've got. And it's and you should, every time you click you just feel like mm. Oh no that, that lady's gonna kill us. Oh look as well as like the lady's here, she's gonna kill you by the trees. She's gonna get you. She's gonna get you, she hates you I gotta forever. Find a woodworker. I don't know. There's a woodworker here? Yeah. Oh, is it the person whose fucking trees we cut? Find the woodworker hanging around Ambertown Park. Why are you doing this? Don't you have respect for all things living? Mm -mm, not inherently. I came here to clear my head and my throat. I've had this pretty bad cold for the past few weeks now. It's not looking any better. Feels like I have a rock back there. Look, fresh air and not taking, not talking do help. Wait a second. I shouldn't talk, come to think of it. Let's not talk anymore. Imagine a stranger just being like, look at this thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> what kind of tree was this again? Ash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need pine, which sounds new to me. Is that new? Yeah. My daughter had her birthday party here last year. I wasn't invited. <laughs> we don't get along. For years now, her mother told me about it. I stood in my car, watching, listening to them laugh. It was a nice party. Oh. That's fucking really sad, dude. It's a bummer. Why are you doing this stuff? He just- that person follows you around. 
Yeah. What if we like fucked our chances and that's the person we needed? I doubt it. Yeah, yeah I'm sure because that's that's the, not oh, how this game works. <laughs> now they walk around. Stop it. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just. Oh, oh wait. I don't know you. What is it? A woodworker, you say? Why, yes, of course, you were looking for me. I'm just, uh, taking a stroll, yes, enjoying nature, refueling my creative batteries, so to speak. You were looking for my genius, I presume. What is it that you need? A working desk? Oh, yes, fantastic. Sure, I can do that. Okay, this is your chance. Don't mess it up. Just breathe. <laughs> okay, um, about that. My creative batteries are full, sure, but all this nature and all this walking and, um, contemplating, well, it depleted my physical batteries. That's before I can even start thinking about your commission. Well, I'll need some food. You know, mind and body and all that. And well, for an artist of my caliber, not just anything will do. Fried chicken. <laughs> I swear I will punch Kiki. I need you to bring me an exquisite, um, surf and turf. Oh, fuck, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Surf and turf. Yes, that'll do. Oh, no. Why didn't I... Why, why did I pick such an expensive meal? What if she thinks I'm not worth it? Should I change my mind? No, no, too late now. I'm just so sick of eating blueberries. They don't, they don't have a house. They live. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Bring me a surf and turf. Or anything else, please, I'm starving. And we'll talk about the commission. <laughs> okay, I think, do I fucking Eric have Deskman? this? Eric Deskman? Eric Deskman? His name is Eric Deskman? Yes. There okay. could definitely be a way. Oh, I got it. There could definitely be a better way of sorting through G all this. Give them the surf and turf. No, shut up, random person. That's not important. What? Really? Right on. Best day ever. Um, I mean, yes, satisfactory. And now for your little submission. I have very good ideas, fantastic ideas, but we still haven't discussed my fee. Now, this is absolutely non-negotiable. I will need 450,000 glims, and that's the friend's price. For an artist of my talent, it would be blasphemous to ask anything less. And then we'll be close again. And you'll see just how well I can do on my own. And you'll know I'm not just a lazy slob and you'll fall in love with me all over again. Wow. I can believe my plan is going so well. Unless. And um, just one last thing, and but of the utmost importance. I have a strict rule against mixing my professional and romantic life. So no, under no circumstances should you tell my partner in Oxbury about our dealings. Oh. You understand? No. Circumstances. Well, time to go do that. Uh, so we're sure as hell not paying four hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I was gonna say fuck you, dude. Limbs. That's an incomprehensible number. Wasn't uh the slutty lions person also <laughs> in Oxbury? The slutty lions person. Yeah, atoll, atoll, calm your ass down. I got your fried chicken. Just a second, we gotta he, find Oxbury. He's like running away. He's gotta escape before you kill him too. He saw what you did to everybody else. He's just been this cat that comes for you. Yeah, he's just been asking for like more and more difficult things so we can stay longer. He's like, it um, hasn't even been that difficult. We just didn't get olives. <clears throat> I know. Well, we didn't I didn't think of that them. as being fat. Why would I think that? Was Oxbury up here, or is it near where we are right now? Lundberg, Nordvilla is one of these. But I need a control F. Oh, there we go. I need a control F button. Like, just the ability to, like, just search. <laughs> just search by name on map. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so bad at remembering where everything is. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? Well, you don't feed it to him, you hand it to him, I think. Oh. Well, can you talk to him then? Oops. So you do give. Fried chicken right there. Comfort food. This always makes me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. His meals would always turn out perfectly. But while he was making them, he was angry. He couldn't... <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. <Yeah. laughs> no, Gordon Ramsay's pretty peaceful when he's cooking. He, he couldn't take his focus away from making food. It was like he was trying to tame the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. He would always win. A meal could take him hours to prepare just right. It took him so long. I remember being a kid, and when it was ready, I didn't care what food was in front of me. It could have been cereal for all I cared. I just hated watching him make food back then, waiting for hours for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, it doesn't seem that bad anymore. Well, thanks, Sprout. 
that's kind of upsetting. What does that mean? I've never heard of anyone being that way. Being angry when they're cooking? Is he just like in the kitchen? Is it just because it's stressful? I, well, I get it, stressed it, out it, when I'm cooking. Is it an out? Al- is there? Just the is it a metaphor or something? Is he just in there banging things around because he's pissed? Like I don't know. Was he like hyper fixating? Maybe I don't know. For me, it's like you're balancing a bunch of things and the timing of all of them, and measuring all the ingredients, and hoping that you have all the right things yeah, in the right. Yeah, but form. it still shouldn't take hours. I think I think there's just that just means something. You know what I mean? So that doesn't seem like that makes a lot of sense. Do we do we need to do we, are we are we catching things? Um, catching diseases. I guess we might as well. In fact, I think I feel like it kind of even like waits for us to like confirm it so they can continue. Is that a, is that one up here? No. No. <sighs> but it could be. Well, that's that's an ideal yeah, place. Yeah, time, I think it's time to move this house. Yeah. Time to put it up in a half. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yes, yeah, it's the it's the uh, the dead beats fireworks. Yeah, that's, the, one, the that's ones not that. What dead beat means? <laughs> the dead beat is a toll. <laughs> oh no! No! Why is this fucking happening? God damn it. Ugh. I don't understand why it's happening. How much progress did we just lose? Wow, twice in one episode. It's like worse than normal. And it, it's like only a problem for this game. Because like it's like something that happens in other games sometimes. But it never crashes them. So like it doesn't. So it's just like a moment of like, oh, the screen went black. For those of you at home, if have, I feel like I mentioned this in a previous episode, but it's like this weird thing where the screen turns black, and maybe the game gets window gets minimized for a second or something. And I think I think thankfully we just left this place, so we didn't lose that much progress. Yeah, so I think we just need to go back to Oxbury. I need to give a toll his fried chicken again. Yeah. And then we need to. Uh, yeah. Like the screen goes black for a second. I'm trying to figure out if it's like. But you gotta give it to him, I forgot. There's so, there's so many different things that it could be. From like... Okay, berries. It's like, is my entire motherboard bad? Or, oh god. Do I think about that? Is there a problem with the display port cable on the specific monitor that I play games on? Is my graphics card having a bad... Like, somebody suggested it might not be all the way in, but why would that only happen... You think that'd be a bigger problem <laughs> than like something that comes up once every few hours? So it's weird, and it's like it's it's flush with the lock on the right side and the frame of the PC case on the left side. So I don't know how more it could be in. It's like against metal on both sides, basically. I don't know. I've tried re I've tried updating various forms of uh of um. Like drivers and whatever the fuck. That you're, uh, that you're silky and. Don't know what the problem is. Make my um, uh, I'll make more olive oil because I, I think I can do a bunch of stuffs with that, and I like stuffs. Is the weirdest thing about it is that Discord just becomes a black rectangle whenever it happens, and it stays that way until I re re close and relaunch the launch Discord. <laughs> Sorry for being so freaking. Loud. Is this, is this my guy talking? Yeah. <clears throat> He's so small, I can't see him. My sincerest apologies for pestering you with such mundane requirements, Commander, but your humble servant feels the need for sustenance. I would gladly accept the smallest of scraps for your magnificent cooking skills. Let me let me try, let me try figuring out what he's gonna want. I don't have Mountain Dew, but what else will do? Oh my god, wait, no, no. Sushi everyone's everyone likes it's not gonna be anyone's favorite food, right? Yeah, everyone likes sushi. I mean, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean it has to not be his favorite too. But uh... so so <laughs> humble. Thanks, Commander. The sustenance is right on time. My hunger is reaching level one. Okay, that, I gave him sushi, but I didn't get any special dialogue from it. But okay, we learned from last time. We learned for next time. From this, time. everybody likes sushi. Everybody should. Everybody likes sushi. Even the people who think you don't like it, try it again. Sushi's pretty good. Don't just get a stupid 
California roll. Okay. California rolls aren't sushi. California rolls like <laughs> I. Mm -mm. They're like they're like the Taco Bell of sushi. It's like a vague suggestion at the concept. I mean, I can't talk too much because I like I like rolls with cream cheese in them, which is yeah. really fucking white girl city over here. But I like the ones that are really unhealthy. Those are the best ones. The ones that tear you apart. Spicy mayo. <laughs> put you back together. I really have come to appreciate like, just good slabs of sashimi too, though. Like, there's something really special about that. I, w I just wish it wasn't so fucking... It is expensive, but for reasons that I understand. We're getting a lot of glimpses. Maybe we'll get 450,000 and we'll uh -huh. be able to pay uh -huh. our guy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That'll take some grinding. <laughs> What happens if you just try to pay him the old-fashioned way? That'd be kind of funny. Uh, I guess it just happens. And they just take it. Take a while. I mean, we just Down got like six or seven thousand just now. So oh like, you, you can get 450,000 eventually. You just have to be playing this game like an MMO. Like, you hate yourself. I need milk. I need milk. Like an MMO. This boy needs some Chiki. milk. Oh my gosh. Chicky gave us egg. We just have chickies now. Thank you, Henrietta. Thank you, Henrietta. I name everything. <laughs> I name it. That's your I, YouTube I channel. Have a, I name everything. I have a uh, spider in the corner of my room, and his name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And actually, I put stuff in his webs for him. Like a like a spider that just lives in your room. Yeah, like he just that, he lives there. That isn't one of your your spiders. It's a daddy long leg. Ah. <laughs> Not one of the ones I that I have. I as got pets. startled by like a wolf spider or something in the bathroom, and I'm just like, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just not gonna think about this. But well, now every time I go in that in the bathroom, I think that the spider's around. Next time that happens, it. tell me, and then I'll catch it and I'll keep it. Like the one that I have. I have one that was. I have a jumping spider that I caught from outside. I don't like them. Oops, what, do I, what am I it doing? It was one of those, like, nickel-sized ones where I'm like, you're too large. I don't like this. Um, sorry. Okay. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> I think we should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna tell, who's Whoa. not invited? Yeah, wait. Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. We should invite everyone and ask them what they want for dinner. You just said not everyone. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? Can I not invite you at all? But all of my favorite characters are double dead now. And we only have like three, like... Yeah, now I'm just sad. I think we literally... Yeah, because we have a uh, bird guy, dinosaur bird guy, and baby all guy. left is a toll in the entire campaign, and we have a dinner with no one. Oh my gosh, that'd be like Claptrap's birthday party all over <laughs> again. Number one thing, number one effect that Toll has on people, them being unhappy that he's banging. Ooh, I can fry so many things. French fries. Oh my gosh, little kid. Little kid might like French fries. That's kind of something a little maybe, kid might like. Maybe she asked her didn't like a Toll's banging because she was secretly deep down inside much angrier at somebody else's banging. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I think so. <laughs> Just slowly getting the job done of making those all, all, like the six of them again. I don't want to just marathon it again when I just did that at the beginning of the episode and then got the progress undone. You son of a bitch. Hello. Hello. Why are we here again? Uh, we need to go find the, uh, the, the partner of the 450. Yeah. The person who's going to convince them not to ask us for a bajillion dollars. Don't come close to me. I have a rare disease where I hate when people talk to me. I myself love talking. I sometimes make up words like Burkani, like Watasito, like frog frog. Oh, that's my favorite one. The last, the last one was just the word frog said twice in a row. You get it. I have a wild imagination and you can't stop me. That's that, took, that, that was a journey. <laughs> that's totally frog frog, dude. <laughs> have you seen this man? Oh gosh. I forgot the picture at home. Let me describe him to you. He has hair. He's got a round face. His eyes are green. No, wait. Brown, maybe. I'm not sure about his eyes. I would have told you to call me if you found him. But without his picture, it's near impossible. I won't find my brother anytime soon with that attitude. Sorry for the bother. Oh, no. You don't... Wait, is your brother you don't know his eye color? That is pretty funny. Uh, have you heard the very good word? About the Bible? It's spectacular. That's the word. Oh! People just like grab I love here. that. 
on my way to a happier day. Nope. See you. Like, no, literally, I see you. <laughs> Do you want to buy some lemonade? It's freshly squeezed. I'm sure you're too busy to drink this refreshing beverage. You don't taunt me. Some other time, perhaps. <laughs> Hello, friend. I was just rewatching uh, Afro, Afro Samurai, which is uh, really amazing if you if you like anime and you haven't seen that before. It's only like six episodes, and it's got Samuel Jackson in it, mm -hmm. and it's really good. But he likes to drink lemonade, and the whole time I was watching it, I was like, I wish I had lemonade because honestly, my <laughs> my favorite non alcoholic non coffee beverage. <clears throat> uh, found him yet? What? How much? 450,000 glims? Seriously, what a hack. That's way above what he normally charges. Where'd he even get that num- Oh, I understand now. The apartment next to mine is currently on the market. The asking price is 450,000 glims. Non-negotiable. Very subtle, man. Also very creepy. <laughs> You know what? I can't just let him fend for himself. He's so helpless. It's only been three days. Oh, whoa. Wow. He already started conning innocent bystanders. Besides, I was already planning on letting him move back in. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Just tell him he can come back, okay? Make sure he understands. From now on, he has to do some chores. I can't do everything for him. I'm not his mom. <laughs> Dude, I hear you. Eric Deskman. And he's building you a desk. I, for some reason, I just didn't think about that until right this second. We live with an Eric Deskman. <laughs> an Eric that builds desks. Oh my gosh, that's true. <laughs> so weirdly specific. Um, I need... These need to be watered. No. I need... Or the notifications will annoy me. That's what they're there for. Yep. French fries, French fries. Yes. I'm here to that annoy you kid until you do the thing. Who's gonna I, like French fries? Have you made a second uh, fried chicken? No, we need more chicken. Remember? Oh, go murder the chickens. Oh no. <laughs> you didn't think this through, did oh, you? Oh no. <laughs> we have to raise and murder chickens in order to have fried chicken. Enjoy. I can do a fried egg. I can do fried beef. Why would I do that? That seems like a waste, even to me. Who fried doesn't beef. eat beef? You just fry it? Isn't that something you don't I don't do? know. I don't like beef. Fried tomatoes, fried onions, fried mushrooms? That's gonna be good. Let's do that. Ten I just like bread. to make things. So, I have to make fabric next. I'm gonna try to ferment some stuff. Let's see what I've got for that. Oh, yes. What happens if I ferment? Oh my gosh, I can ferment yogurt again. That's kind of scary. <laughs> what is that? So you make the do? yogurt from fermenting in the first place, and then yeah. you ferment it again. These are getting really hard. I don't. I don't think. Am I doing it right? I don't think I'm hitting the. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's really hard now. These higher level fabrics, you go really fast on this dial, so it's really hard to actually hit the uh, the shiny. Is that enough though? 20. Yeah! One more crystal glass sheet and I can make up the mist cleaner. Let's get that shit wrapped up, bro. I'm just gonna sit here and slowly watch it cook while I do the air guitar tea bag attack. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while, but we're gonna get there. And no one can stop me. <laughs> Whoa, look at oh, that, look at that yeah, dancing. Mosh. I, dude, I, I was in a mosh pit the other night. You got to go to a thing. Yes. Life is restarting. What <clears throat> an adventure. I got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got this big old bruise. You've survived. You, you'll make it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it was fun. I had a really good time. It was like in this weird industrial area by a taco truck at night. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of thrash metal and uh and i had to at, at, a, at, a, at a certain point a very small girl got very drunk and i had to protect her the rest of the night and it was very dangerous because she kept trying to climb back into the pit and i was like no but she kept just crawling like like clawing her way back up to the front and i'm like dude someone's gotta stop this one <laughs> did you know her at all oh yeah no she's my friend She's like, I can go back in. And I was like, no, you can't stand. <laughs> and I was what like, so I, just, I had to put both my arms underneath her armpits and just hold her up. 
while a crowd of people just shoved into us left and right. And I was like, Jesus. well, I'm very powerful. That level of drunk. I'm a good, I'm a good, uh, I'm a good concert buddy. Drunken I have done, I have done that for people I didn't know, though. I have saved people. But, but, but like, when you're at a moss show and you look over and you see a guy with a mouth guard in, you're like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's worrying. Yep. Like, oh, this person came prepared in the worst way. Yeah, and then like, uh. I'm here to hurt people. Yep. No, there's certain people you, you look at who are like, who are like, and like the people with like spiky boots and stuff, and you're like, they don't really even allow those in the shows anymore. Yeah. Because. No, they're just overtly there to hurt people. Like, mm -hmm. that's just. They don't know that I'm here for that. It has nothing to do with what actual moshing is for. I mean, moshing is kind of get yourself hurt, to be honest. That's what most people I know use it for. It's a, it's like, it's like a very violent form of self-expression. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of the people. It's, like it's when the I rush, go, you when know. I used to go paintballing. There was people that would like bring a tool with them so they could like amp up the pressure right after they went pet to the, did the speed test that's there for safety because you shoot this thing to find out if your thing's calibrated right to not hurt people but then they would just get past that and then jack up their gun so they'd hurt people i remember like, okay humans just suck great glad to know you fried mushroom ooh, that look oh i wish i had fried mushrooms right now really badly <laughs> um Remember a friend, a friend of mine had this big nasty bruise that just started like bleeding the next day. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is supposed to be fun. No, I, I went paintballing with my ex-boyfriend and it was People with a group. People also try to freeze the paintballs. Oh, what assholes. But, uh, he, he betrayed me because, you know, it's like, I didn't think he was gonna, I think we were gonna be like on, like on a team together, but he shot me, right? So the next time I like, I, I crept up like really close and I got like a foot away and I shot him like in the place where he didn't have any padding. <laughs> Cause he didn't hear me. I just snuck up and went. Just got him. Yeah, I was. I was actually really pissed at him. So I was just yeah. like, "Fuck you." We had a deal. I lost interest in paintball partly because it's like, it's painful and people are assholes and make it worse. And also partly. Leave because... my rice. In... What are you doing? Oop. <laughs> no. What? Did you want more rice or less rice? No, you leave the rice. In... I want the rice flour. Yeah, I was, add, I was gonna add more rice. There, there was there was two in there that were cooking. Yeah. Well, one of them already came. One of them already got it finished, and I took it out. Out of here? But I was about, yeah. I was just pressing the add button, but then you're like, "What are you doing?" And I'm scared. <laughs> well, you can. Do you, you want can... all the rice in or not? No, just two. Okay. I just want some rice flour, but I, I want rice also. I am conditioned to always be trying to process everything, turn that, make everything do a thing. Well, yeah, but that's, that was where you put the stuff to process. So now it's gonna start from the beginning. Did it always sound like that? In that room? What? Oh, was that the bar? I was in the bar. I really okay. I really still don't know like what the point of the bar was. We got uh, it for like uh, he's he went in there like one time. And no one uses it. <laughs> Maybe it's where we'll have our feast. Maybe. And that'll be its one justification. Ready for a joke? I hope there's a mirror in that cellar of yours, because it's looking good. <laughs> Wait, what? What the fuck? Why? I don't, I don't understand that joke at all. I don't understand. Welcome back to the shipyard, Stella. Tell me what you need. I think a, a good goal... The would, mist cleaner. ...would be to be some, like, really badass boss person who just makes jokes and no one understands, but everyone laughs at because they have to, or they feel obligated yeah. to, and you just know they don't make sense, and you just walk around saying stuff and then, like, making people that, laugh at things that make no sense. That's it. We never have to come back here again. Not even the sun ballad? These two things both just make it faster. And this one just makes it bigger. The sun the sun ballard? So the, <laughs> so the ship can get bigger and we can make it faster twice. But we have all the like Metroidvania mechanics. And yeah, like this one requires pine and gold and electrum. It's like, okay, so pine's after the mist. That's mm -hmm. why we don't have pine yet. And we gotta make the D D house. I'm excited about get that. Back in there. The <laughs> I, do, I, I, I do really like seeing what their houses look like. The mist cleaner gets any stain out. I mean, mi says. mist mist in itself isn't really like something you clean, you know. I'm like interesting phrasing, I guess. 
Anyway, back there, because we'll do the Oxbury first before we go into an entirely new region. Oh, fell off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mulling it over. It took me a while to figure it out. I don't think I'm happy here. I miss my family. I miss the way my ha the house smells before a big dinner. I know I can't go back home. That's just not possible. But I don't want to be here anymore. No. This this music's really not fitting. Mm-hmm. I know that would mean not being with you, but I want to be alone for a bit. Take some time for myself. Maybe enjoy some quiet if that's even possible. Thanks for listening, Sprout. I do tend to get intense, but I don't want to put pressure on you. Hopefully that wasn't too much. No. Here is a. No, don't, don't give him Sakura. <laughs> We're saving that. I'm going to hug the giant idiot. I'm getting more silk. We have more silk stuff. Just so you know. I don't remember how many we have need left. Uh, we're good. On the specific thing that I was doing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, because that was the last. That's the thing you just got, huh? Yeah, because I got like five silk, which turned into ten thread, which turned into like 26 fabric or something. Oh, so like, it worked out very good. Yeah, when you. There's a thing where. In some, game, in some games, there's usually like a. It usually feels like you're losing more and more, but in this game, when you get when you go through each tier of processing, it like exponentially increases how much of the stuff you got. Interestingly, <laughs> go look at our look, listen to that cat just meow going, going to town meow destroying in the background. That pussy's crushing. Hmm. That over energized friend of yours is is organizing a dinner. Good thing you are taking care of my of the food, dear. Let's see. Something that takes skill. Some tuna tataki, perhaps. Oh, That wow. sounds decent. Oh, we only ha Okay, okay. Right. I got to I, I got to look at that recipe. I didn't think of, I, I didn't realize what I was doing, but I'm, I think I just picked him. <laughs> Where are we excluding? Where are the recipes? Not the, we're definitely taking the child. <laughs> that, that's oh. kind of funny. He won't even pre Stanley loves the other people's food. <laughs> Bring doesn't? me some French fries. <gasps> Yay! I already have French fries. All right. Perfect. We have to pick between D and D kid or these two for the final dinner guest. Um. Well, he's gone. <laughs> there you go. That sounds like fun. I'll take a casserole. Oh, I think I already have that too, actually. Who's Casserole, there? french fries, and was it tuna tatuki? Is that what it said? Yeah, but I gotta figure out that. Where do you look at recipes? I, I forgot it's where the, you find you, them. in the stove. Oh, it's the only place you can look at them? It's... Now here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone help me prepare all the meals. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Believe you me, Stella, we make a great team. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. Like, all the work. Mm -hmm. The heavy lifting, you know? Thanks. You wrote yeah. it down. I have to do it. Now I kind of wonder if there's stats that they have that's like, who are the, the, most, in the most invited to dinner guests in the entire game? It'd be interesting because it would vary greatly based on like which characters are even available at the time. If I remember tuna and a savory veggie, Sa a savor, a savory veggie. What defines a savory veggie in um, this game? Do you, to, do you have to make a savory an veggie? Onion? No. Why is this happening <laughs> to me? Oh. Does it just crash again? It did. <laughs> Why? It happened three times in one episode. At least, at least we're an hour in, so it's over. But well, I know, but still, dude. Yeah, this is really frustrating. I'm gonna restart my computer or something. I don't. Why the fuck is this happening? It weirdly hasn't happened for like a week now, too, and then it happened three times in an hour, which it's never happened more than once before either. This is stupid, Kiki. Everything's stupid. You're See you guys stupid, later. Kiki. I hate everything. Fuck. 